Alright guys, uh, this is Cody. I'm going to be showing you a little rough tutorial on uh, how I actually set up my uh, my channel theme. So, here it is. This is my updated one. I just updated it and added Terraria. As you can see, I added Terraria and I added the fighter from what game? Does anybody know? Yeah, that's right. Dungeon Fighter. Which is an amazing game if you haven't had the chance to play it. So this is my this is my uh, channel theme right now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. This is what I use. You can go and you can find them online, stock photos, random things. Um, but you want to find PNG files. Those are what uh, what will allow you to click and do this with. If they're not PNG files, you will not be able to do them and do that unless you convert it into a PNG file, or you delete the background till it is a PNG file, or um, you do the whole magic wand tool or quick selection tool in Photoshop to be able to do this. And yes, I am running it in Photoshop. I'm running it in the new updated CS 5.1 Extended Edition. As you can see, I have the 3D here. So. Um, but this is what I'm, this is, this is pretty much how, uh, how I do it. Okay, each one of these, each one of these little Pokemon characters, now as I, if I can get my little mouse to fi get there, okay, this right here is its own separate layer. As you can see, I have all my layers here in my layer box. And if you guys can't see that, I'm going to make it bigger for you. And I have all my layers set up inside my layer box. I started off with the background image. Okay, my background image on this is blank. It's just a white background. Then I went and I added... Let me go ahead and get rid of all this. Just like this. Select. I'm, going to, I'm just deleting... Uh, get, making it where you can't see. I'm going to go in order of what I did. Okay. So now that that's, that's done. Okay, I started out with this. Right here. It's a co color over overlay of my image. Just like this. And if you want, I'm going to go ahead and give you the dimensions of my image. So I'm going to go, here's the image size. And this is the dimensions of the image I'm using. Okay. Now, after that, I went ahead and I did this. I added, I used um, little bubbly over here, and I just used the round rectangle tool, and I made that. And then I went in and I clicked on it. You do a right click, and then you go to blending options. And this is my settings for my blending. There we go again. Um, and that's pretty much what I did. And then I went ahead and I added yet another layer. The layer over top of it to give me these nice lines. And that uh that's uh, this isn't my new one. Now this is what my original looked like. Um and this is the new one. Then I added a next uh a next layer. By doing that, you click the create new layer button down at the bottom right hand corner. Um, and it just it'll create a new layer. So if I wanted to create a new layer, I would just do this, and it creates a new layer, an empty an empty slate, the same dimensions as your picture. Okay, so I added that, and I used a texture brush. I used in my brushes. I used a nice little brush, and I went through and I have textured brushes. So that's what I did there. Then I went ahead and I blended out the bottom, got rid of a few things to make it smoother. Then I went ahead and I added some darkening effects. I darkened the edges to give it a, a more rustic look and I put a little spots in it in random places. Then I went ahead and I brightened the edges. Okay, and then after that, I get to add my characters. Okay, I have a individual picture like him, uh, Bulbasaur little picture just like that and uh, that's a PING file which you can find pretty much anywhere online if you search hard enough I and I did that for all of these 
and I went in and I resized them all. Um, actually, this Portal 2 image was from another image. I cut it out, and I put it on here and added a backdrop to it. And I also put it through a filter and put it through a black fil uh, brick filter. Then I went ahead and I got me another character, which I had built this character on the website, on a website, made for it, before they shut it down. Because I can't get back on it anymore because I shut it completely down for some reason. But yes, I made this. This is kind of this is pretty much what my character actually looks like on the game. So that was pretty cool that I got to do that. Then I found the Terraria, which is actually right here. As you guys can see that. But um yeah, that's that's pretty much all you have to do. And if you want to make them blend in like the, like uh as you can see if I zoom in here. As you can see, it's blended. It's got a drop shadow. They have drop shadows down here like this. All you have to do is say, okay, I want this image. So I click its layer. It'll highlight it. I go to blending options and I just add a drop shadow just like this. And then, then you can have your settings. You can adjust the distance and all this stuff. So that's what, I, that's what I've done. Um, and I went ahead and uh, added a few more things, a few more Pokemon, got it all set up and looking nice, and there's the finished product. And with those dimensions, your product will be set up like this. And I had to make them smaller. They can't be exactly on the edge because it does not fit the web page the right way. So this is the pretty much the perfect scaling for a your YouTube page and um, that's pretty much it for this uh, little tutorial of how I set this all up so this is Cody and um, I know this is a little different than my normal let's plays but I um, figured I'd give you guys a little tutorial on, on how I got my uh, what my skills are for Photoshop anyways but um, other than that uh, this is Cody and yet again I'm signing out